What's up everybody, it's Julian Gordon here and I got another one for you um, and it was a huge realization that I got when I first stepped out to my business because the reason I started the business was to have more freedom and it's the very same thing that I want for you, I want you to be free. But there's a couple different definitions of freedom that are out there. One definition of freedom is having no boundaries and just being able to do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it and, and that's cool. Then there's another definition of freedom which is uh, the absence of oppression, meaning that not only you but all those who you love, your clients, they don't feel any oppression so that they can actually do what they are meant to do and so um, you got to find out which definition of freedom you're actually pursuing because there's some different brands of freedom out there but one thing that comes along with freedom and one reason why people say they want to become entrepreneurs because they want to have control over their time and what I found when I uh, left my job and, and, and now I had autonomy over how I cho chose to spend my time I found that um, freedom actually requires structure and I know that sounds counterintuitive, right? Freedom, I don't want any structure, right? Because when we're young, um, we rebel against structure, right? We rebel against structure when we're young because, um, you know, when we're in school or we got chores and things of that nature, when people are telling us what to do, we rebel against structure. But what I found is that when you're actually free, you actually need structure. And if you don't have structure, you just procrastinate, procrastinate, and procrastinate, right? When you went to college and you had that first 10-page paper due, and there was no professor on you telling you that you had to do it by a certain time except for the final due date, what happened? We ended up pulling all-nighters, right? Because we didn't have structure, right? Whereas in high school, your teacher was breaking it down, turning the first three pages here, turning the next three pages here, turning the next three pages here. They were giving you structure, right? So freedom actually requires structure. And so one thing that I've added to my life is more structure. Not to feel bound by it, right? I don't want to feel bound, but structure actually allows me to be more productive. So how how I set up my week is um, on Sunday night I actually close my eyes and I envision the entire week that's ahead I look at my calendar I look at the things that are permanent like when I got to pick up my daughter from school uh, grocery store appointments meetings those get placed in my calendar first right and then from there I start to see the gaps right I see the gaps in my schedule and when I add up all that time I may actually only have 15 to 20 hours to actually work in my business even though it's a quote-unquote 40 hour work week right and so from there I get to choose how do I spend this 20 hours to grow my business? And I have to actually add structure. So rather than just leaving those on my calendar as gaps that um, I'll see how they get filled in when I get to them, um, if I do it that way, then I'll get to Friday and I'll look back on my week and say, what the heck did I accomplish? But if at the beginning of the week, I fill in those gaps as if they are doctor's appointments, as if they are meetings, then now my week has structure. Now when I wake up, I actually have a focus because my day is already pre-planned for me. I'm not guessing. I'm not letting email, which is a reactionary form of work, I'm not letting email actually dictate what I end up doing that day, right? I'm actually letting what's strategic, what's going to build an asset in my business determine do on that day and so if you want to write a book right you can't just go to a log cabin uh, for 30 days and hope that that book comes out you actually have to go to that log cabin with a little bit of structure when are you gonna wake up when are you gonna eat when are you gonna exercise are you gonna take a nap how many pages are you gonna write on day one how many pages are you gonna write on day two what is gonna be the outline right you actually have to have a structure for that time or else you'll get to the end of the 30 days um, and you will not have a finished book and so it sounds counterintuitive, um, and I know all of you are seeking freedom, as am I, but you have to have structure. Freedom requires structure if you actually want to keep that freedom, right? So this is just a huge insight that I had once I stepped out, and um, I actually had control over my time. I recognized that I needed structure, or else the days would just fly by and pass, and I wouldn't be getting as much done as I want to get done. And I want to see you checking off more boxes, creating that book, creating that webinar, creating that mastermind, creating that online course. I want to see that happen for you sooner than later. Because I know that when it happens for you, it will happen for all of those that you serve. All right? So this is Julian telling you to launch, lead, and then continue to learn. All right? Much love, y'all. Peace.